Hi, everybody. Last Outrider here. Are you ready for some more Rogue Trader fun? Alrighty then. Let's hit up the Zotes. Zotes are the most common of all the Tyranids' many specially engineered slave races. Other slave races are little more than animals, mere blobs of protoplasm dedicated to cleaning and maintaining the hive fleets of which they are a part. Even the hulking spacecraft that compose the hive fleets are, in a sense, races as they are grown and matured from a common, albeit much modified, biological stock. Spacecraft are mindless monstrosities, and the vast majority of other slave races are so dedicated to a single purpose it would be inappropriate to think of them as creatures. Zotes, on the other hand, are completely independent living creatures, much like their masters. The Xenobiologers of the Administratum believe that Zotes were created purely for combat, Tyranids, being creatures of space, suffer discomfort if they spend too much time on a planet. Zotes, however, are stocky animals that feel quite at home in a wide variety of atmospheric and gravitational conditions. Like Tyranids, Zotes are centauroid. Their two rear sets of limbs are heavily built and muscular, providing the creature with its means of locomotion. The front limbs are manipulative organs of great strength and are used to wield a variety of weapons. Unlike Tyranids, Zotes will eat almost anything, although they largely subsist on a daily diet of three reconstituted protein-based woven biscuits called Zotibix. <laughs> I'm going to just let that one sink in for a bit. They <laughs> Zotibix. Yes, Z O A T I B I X. Zotibix. It's a thing. <laughs> Zotes are common high fleet inhabitants, often equaling the number of Tyranids themselves. Although they are a slave race, Zotes occupy important positions throughout the high fleets, and individual Zotes can gain great power. Rebellion from Tyranid control is not unknown, but it is extremely rare. This is because Tyranids secrete a special slave hormone, which suppresses the Zotes' natural sense of independence. However, renegade Zotes do exist throughout the universe. Where universe. Did you hear that word? Not galaxy. Because the Tyranids are an extragalactic race. Which means Zotes and Tyranids exist throughout the universe. Not simply this galaxy. <coughs> Sorry. Where they have broken away from the high fleets, or have become lost during scouting or exploration missions. Without the inhibiting influence of the Tyranid slave hormone, Zotes are able to develop strong psychic powers. The path of independent Zote civilization is incredibly diverse, with small groups isolated from each other on widely scattered planets. <laughs> Hmm. A uh, typical squad. A typical Zote squad com is comprised of four individuals, including one leader, and usually one special weapon warrior. Clothing takes the form of a harness, providing holster positions for various weapons. The basic weapon carried is a bolter. The special weapon is a heavy bolter. The officer also has a bolt pistol. This is exactly as for Tyranids. The Zotes wear the same harness as Tyranids for uniforms, and Zote tactics. Zotes form the warrior core of the high fleets and are found in the capacity of guards and police 
as well as fighting warriors. They are extremely potent fighters and fit well into the Tyranid ethos of the fast and hard strike. Boom. What should I cover next? Ooh, let's find out. Until then, bye.